Looks like the market turmoil is continuing. Another down day on Wall Street. Which stocks do you believe have been hit the hardest? Well, travel-related uh, stocks, stocks that uh, might have their supply chain disrupted, uh, other stocks that have anything to do with uh, people gathering, um, things like that, uh, those, those are the ones that uh, have the most uh, potential to be hurt. Can we expect this kind of market volatility for some time as long as, you know, new cases are popping up around the world? Uh, I think that uh, we're in a, a cycle right now of uh, media hype. I mean, if we look at this virus and put it in perspective, uh, in the last couple decades, uh, we've had approximately eight other scares. We've had bird flu. We've had uh, swine flu. We've had mad cow disease. We had mosquito-related diseases that people were very concerned about, Zika, West Nile. We've had SARS. We've had MERS. Uh, we've had Ebola. So now this is the ninth in about 20 years. I. If our history is any guide, I think there's an overreaction happening here. Uh, we don't necessarily know enough about this virus to have this much fear. And uh, a way of looking at this is that if it's a little bit more contagious than the flu, and let's say the flu was just a little bit more contagious, would you change your lifestyle if that was the case? If the flu was a little more deadly, would you change your lifestyle? And from 99% of the population, the answer is no. So I think that's something we should think about. I think the big concern about this one, Rich, is there are still so many unknowns about this virus. Uh, are there companies that you've seen that have actually done well during this crisis on Wall Street, perhaps pharmaceutical companies? Uh, sure. Pharma companies that are working on a vaccine, as well as uh, some of the companies in, in what we might call the future of workspace collaboration, companies like Zoom and others that enable people to work from home more easily. Uh, theoretically, the companies in the uh, SD-WAN space, it's, a, it's another technology that enables people to telework. Uh, those should be hot areas because if people are going to be doing more work from their homes or mobile or wherever they happen to be, then stocks that enable that to happen should do well. And do you expect that kind of move, perhaps, you know, teleworking or for students taking at uh, classes online, do you see that a trend that could happen in the United States, especially in places like Silicon Valley? Uh, absolutely. It's, you know, the trend has been going on for about 20 years uh, or more. Uh, and as the technology's gotten better, we've even coined this term future of work that describes this new way of working, which uh, one of the definitions is basically allowing people to work from anywhere as if they're in the office. So the tech is there. It's ready for people. So if there's an expansion of school from home or work from home or collaboration from home, we're ready. And, and there are a lot of really great tech choices to choose from. All right, we'll leave it there. Rich Tehrani, thank you so much.